Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 8 techniques that I use in determining if a vehicle has a blown head gasket and these techniques are going to be really easy and simple to follow and I've been using the same techniques for the last 18 years buying cars on the fly at auctions all over the country and the best part is the first three techniques don't require the use of any tools so if you're stuck in a parking lot or you're at a car dealership, you can easily use these methods to help you make a better decision. And for staying tuned till the end, I'm going to give you guys some additional tips. And these are really going to help you narrow down if you have a blown head gasket and help you diagnose your vehicle or make a better decision on if you should purchase the vehicle that you're currently considering. And in case you didn't know, the head gasket is the seal between the head of the vehicle and the actual engine block. On modern cars, the head gasket is made out of a thin piece of metal and it's designed to keep the oil, the coolant, and the compression all in its right channel. And when a head gasket blows, it can blow for a variety of reasons, including a warped head. This can happen when the actual head gets overheated, as well as over torquing of the actual head bolts which are underneath these covers over here and don't let the head gasket confuse you with the actual valve cover seal which is the seal between the head and this valve cover and that's actually just designed to keep the pressure in the ventilation system in here as well as keep the oil from coming out of the motor. So the first three actually involve taking advantage of a vehicle that has not been started for the day and one of the first things that you want to do, and I've actually avoided a lot of problems in cars by doing this, is to check the oil cap. And what you're checking for is for any kind of milky and creamy residue around the oil cap. This might be a great indication if you have a possible blown head gasket. And if you see a little bit of it or you see a lot, I would actually further investigate all right, so the next test is going to be one that we're going to combine two tests. So we're going to be test number two and number three. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the radiator cap here. And you want to make sure that it's full. And you can see the water is right there. And with that full, I'm going to go ahead and start the vehicle at the same time. We need to pay attention to the exhaust. And after 10 minutes, we should be able to see that the exhaust is completely clear. And today here, we're experiencing pretty good weather. So... I don't anticipate getting any condensation when I'm starting up the vehicle, but after 10 minutes, even if the weather was a little cool, this should all be cleared up. And you should see a continuous steam of water like that. You shouldn't see any kind of gush or water boiling out like little bubbles. So, this so far is looking good. And as you can see, I don't have any bubbles coming out of here. And the exhaust is completely clear. I don't have any white smoke as well. All the vapor smoke should be gone after 10 minutes. All right, so we just covered three different ways that you can tell if you have a potential head gasket issue without the use of any tools, but now we're gonna go ahead and cover additional ways you can tell if you have a potential head gasket. And these are gonna require the use of some tools. I'm gonna to have a link in the description box below to the tools, as well as future videos on how to use those tools. So check those out. And if this is the first time you guys are checking out the channel, please consider subscribing for more time and money saving videos just like this. I'm gonna give you guys a moment to hit that subscribe button right here. So every time I upload a video, you guys will get notification. Go ahead and hit that bell as well. Anytime you're gonna be working around the vehicle, it's always a great idea to wear some eye protection and some hand protection. Method number four is gonna involve the use of a chemical tester. We do not want fluid going into the actual tester here. You're gonna go ahead and use a turkey baster like this, and you're gonna remove some of the fluid. Pour the coolant into a container and use the chemical tester. What you do is you add 
a little bit of that special fluid that it comes with in the bottle and then you're going to suck up some of the air using this little pump and it'll change color if you do have hydrocarbons in your coolant system here and this method here works pretty well i've used it a bunch of times and pretty easy to do if you don't have a radiator cap on your particular vehicle you're going to come over to the coolant reservoir in your car this is going to be a closed system and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and loosen the cap up and you're going to do the same exact test in this reservoir this chemical tester here works for all vehicles including diesels method number five is going to include the use of a cooling system pressurization kit like this and let me go ahead and show you guys how to quickly do this what you're going to do is you're going to remove your engine cover most likely to get your spark plugs and you want to go ahead and remove every one of your spark plugs which are going to be underneath the coils here and with that out of the way you're going to pull out your spark plugs using a spark plug socket some sort of extension and a ratchet some cars are easier than others and once the spark plug is actually out of the cylinder you're going to now go and inspect the spark plug to see if it's covered in water. That's going to be a really big giveaway as far as which cylinders may be affected by the potential head gasket issue that you might be experiencing. And with all the spark plugs removed out of the vehicle, now you're going to go ahead and use the, the pressure kit here and put some pressure on the cooling system and see if it loses pressure. And depending on the size of your head gasket leak, you may see actual water in your cylinders. Here's the gauge, and it goes up to 30 pounds of pressure on this particular unit. Method number six is going to include the use of a compression kit like this. And you want to do this at the same time as you do the cooling system pressurization test. So that way you're not taking the spark plugs in and out and potentially cross threading something and every time you take these out you're basically having to make it where you're either going to have to buy a new spark plug or a new gasket because it's not going to sit the same way so you want to try to do this all in the same order and it'll really save you time and a big headache and you want to go ahead and always do any of these tests when the motor is completely cold the aluminum heads on a lot of these newer vehicles are not going to get affected and the metal is very soft so now with my pressurization kit I'm going to be able to go and test the compression on each cylinder if I do have a head gasket issue most likely if it's cylinder number two is affected it will also affect cylinder number three and you're going to be able to see if you have a head gasket issue based on your findings method number seven is going to include the use of some amber tinted safety goggles and a UV light and UV dye for your cooling system. This UV dye is specially formulated for your cooling system. And here's the great thing about this. In case you're still having a problem, you can't diagnose what's going on, or you don't want to do a compression test and you don't want to start taking your motor apart, this is a really great method for just a quick check. It doesn't take a lot of time and I've actually had great success with this. I've had a Scion TC that was a 2006 and I couldn't figure out what was going on with it. I wasn't getting any kind of head gasket warning signs but the car would overheat. I couldn't figure it out so I put some of this dye in here and what I was able to actually see on the vehicle was the back of the motor once the dye actually ran through the system back here was completely glowing so this is a little bit more on the visual side, so if you don't want to take your whole motor apart, you don't want to start removing spark plugs, this might be a great option, and this is pretty inexpensive as well. Method number eight is going to include the use of an emissions analyzer, and most people don't have access to an emission analyzer unless you work at a mechanical shop where they do have these available. But they're very expensive unless you buy them secondhand. And what you do with an emission analyzer is you first suck out some of the coolant from the radiator here. And once the coolant is sucked out using some kind of turkey baster like this, you would go ahead and put your hand over the radiator cap 
put the emission analyzer probe right at the top and you will start the motor and since the motor is running now if you do have a blown head gasket some of the gases are going to escape past the head gasket and make it into your cooling system and the emission analyzer is going to be able to detect the higher levels of hydrocarbons in your cooling system and the higher the number of hydrocarbons parts per million in your cooling system the higher probability that you have a confirmed head gasket that is blown well there you guys go those are my eight methods for determining that you have a blown head gasket and now I want to hear from you guys what method did you guys find that was the easiest and most accurate for you and has one of these techniques backfired on you if so I want to hear about it in the comments below and as promised, I told you I would give you some special tips in determining if your vehicle has a blown head gasket. And here it is. If you're experiencing any random misfire code, whether it's a check engine light or it's a pending code in association with any of those visual symptoms that we covered earlier in the video, you more than likely have a blown head gasket. So I really hope this video helped you out. Give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Feel free to share this video with friends and family. And as always, I post a new video up every week. And if you like these videos, make sure you comment below. Thank you. You know, if you guys have any comments, hit the subscribe button. And I really appreciate your continued support.